is tight. That is something that customers do. Ken Mortimer is MD in Heritage Fine Foods in Devizes, which supplies some frozen items. Ken, thanks for being on The Breakfast Show with us this morning. What are you seeing then in terms of the trend for frozen food sales? Are you seeing the same thing? Morning, James. Um, no is the short answer, but that is because we don't have, we don't do any retail frozen anyway. All of our, the frozen we do sell, which is only about 5%, is going into restaurants and hotels and catering outlets. But there is a little bit of a movement towards it because um, there's a shortage of chefs, basically, and it's, you know, whereas a chef would have been prepared to put, a, the chef would spend a lot more time, obviously, preparing, same as your housewife is, preparing um, fresh food. And there is, you know, we've got a lot of, a lot of clients who are really struggling to get a really good top quality chef. So there's a little bit of a movement towards frozen, but I wouldn't say we've noticed it being a massive thing. That's interesting that you say that, uh, you know, the demand in the restaurant trade being driven by a shortage of chefs. Is that because the, the frozen food is, is easier to cook? So maybe you don't need as much of a specialist chef or you don't need as many people cooking in the kitchen? Yeah, exactly that. I'm not so much of a specialist, really. I mean, there's been a, there was a, didn't, didn't this, because your researcher around me yesterday did talk about a massive shortage of frozen chips, which um, was a bit bizarre. Is that, um, but, so you, I said, well, maybe it's because you know, if you're going to do a really good triple fried potato chip from fresh, that's quite a big job, whereas chucking frozen chips into a fryer obviously is much easier. You've got to have the space to store all this stuff. What are things like for you at Heritage Fine Foods? If you've just got loads and loads of massive freezers, how does it work for you? <laughs> well, as I said, it's only 5% of our turnover. We've got three big shipping containers, which are, um, you know, uh, frozen containers that we keep all the frozen in. And, um, but it's not a massive thing, and there is not a shortage of spuds. So I don't know what their article in the uh, Star was on about yesterday, really. Well, we spoke to you a couple of months ago about other shortages. Are there any particular problems at the moment? We've heard about, about onions potentially being an issue. Onions are an issue. The, going back to last month, um, the only thing that's really still now a problem is tomatoes because they got hit so hard that they haven't ever really recovered. Um, there are quite a few northern European crops now about, well, from the UK and from Holland. Um, and yes, onions, because they are only harvested once a year and then they're stored for 11 months. The 90 degree, sorry, 90, the 40 degree temperatures we had last summer did hit that crop and we're paying about three times the normal price for onions. Because you can't substitute onions for anything else and they're in nearly every dish you cook at all. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, you always need them for, as you say, for, for pretty much every recipe. And interesting you say that about the temperatures because I tried to grow some of my own last year and they didn't do very well and I always thought that they liked warm temperatures but you're saying if it's kind of hotter, then, then that causes issues for them. When it's that extreme, yeah, fine, they'd love it if it's 25 degrees, I guess. But the, the crops actually stop growing, they actually store, and then it's the job to get them growing again when it's either extremely hot or extremely cold. So that's what happened last year. That's exactly what happened to me. I had like little shallot things that were really, really small. The year before, they were massive. Ken, thank you for that. Ken Mortimer from Heritage Fine Foods in devices so i'm not seeing as much of a rise for demand of frozen food there but uh some sectors as uh, ken was saying like chefs kitchen staff um they're using kind of more frozen foods in that way but uh analysts out this morning details out this morning of an 18 percent year-on-year increase in frozen foods at our supermarkets